congratulations. Thank the, you. The, you're expecting soon. Yes. That's so exciting. Eight months, yes, yeah, so next Eight month. Eight months. So next month, yeah. Okay, so I remember being pregnant and some ladies in the audience maybe who have had mm -hmm. kids, I always thought seven months was long enough. I get it, <laughs> yes. I, I mean, this is my first, so. It's, uh, yeah, it does kind of, it's, it's kind of weird because it sneaks up on you where you're like, I can't believe it's been eight months already, but then you're like, oh my gosh, she needs to like come yeah, out I already. I can't believe it. You know, but it's so wonderful. It's, it's such a blessing. It's just like, you know, she likes it here. She's already kicking. So. Uh -huh. so she's, she's a girl. You yes. Know. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So last time Ashton Kutcher was on the show co-hosting. Oh, that's man. right. And he, <laughs> was, he was ranting about something. He was furious that you had gotten engaged without telling him. I know. Well, here's the thing. We're, so we're private, you know, my fiance and I are private, but I, What's funny is, you know, like with the pregnancy, people are, because a couple of people are like, oh, you're going back to do the show. Is Aston, you know, going to give you flack because you didn't tell him? But we were at um, Sundance and we hadn't told anybody because, you know, you want to wait a little bit of time. Yeah. And I literally walked out of a restaurant. I hadn't even told my mother yet. <laughs> and we walked out of a restaurant. And I literally like turned back like this, and just because there was like a tiny, it could have been a food baby. Right. <laughs> just because there was a tiny little bump, and because I wasn't drinking, they're like, Laura Prepon's pregnant. And I'm like, oh my God, I haven't even told my mother. Like, I didn't tell my sisters. So, sorry, Kutch, I didn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Another <laughs> secret. Mother. Another secret. That's yeah. so funny. Do you yeah. have any weird food cravings or food aversions? Um, you know what's funny is growing up, I'm, I'm Irish Catholic and Russian Jewish, so growing up my father would take us to this deli and we would get pastrami sandwiches on rye <laughs> and we would drink Dr. Brown's black cherry soda. And what's so funny is I haven't, I haven't eaten this stuff in years and since I've been pregnant I've been craving like this kind of Jewish deli food. Right. With like the, you know, the pickles and sauerkraut and mustard, so we tend to kind of delve into that.